Peace be to you, dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. In today's Gospel, Jesus' authority was questioned by the Sanhedrin and the elders of the people. When Jesus was teaching in the temple, a group of elders came to Jesus and asked him, on whose authority he was teaching and doing all the works inside the temple. He had dispelled all the buyers and vendors from the temple courts and chased them out. Jesus knows their mind and he had very well understood their intentions to ask these questions. Knowing their mind, Jesus replied to them with a question. He had taken the topic of the baptism of John the Baptist. So he questioned them, why and whether the baptism of John the Baptist from heaven or from men. It was a clear question. The baptism of John the Baptist was from heaven or from men. They thought to themselves, if they were to say from heaven, Jesus may ask the question why they did not believe him. On the contrary, if they were to say from men, they were afraid of the people because people had considered him as a great prophet. So they bluntly said they do not know. Jesus knowing their mind, he also said, I also in the same mind will not reveal you on what, what authority I had been teaching and doing all the activities inside the temple. Jesus never opened his mind to the dishonest and cunning persons. However cruel, however strong the dishonest persons that to be, these dishonest elders, they used the people's authority, their authority earned by their very position and misused them used to them dishonestly. So, Jesus never wanted to be acquainted or associate with them because they were cunning and dishonest people. But Jesus accepted all those people who, are, who were pure in art, simple people, His friends were simply simple peasants. He had accepted all those people who had faith in him, irrespective of caste, religion, race, nation. The only category to come near to him was to be pure in heart, open mind with faith. So when we come to his presence, we are called to be the pure in heart. It not necessarily we must be completely sinless when we come, come to his presence, 
but a heart of contrites a heart of submission the heart of conversion he did not worry about whether a person a sinner or a saint but it was enough for him a contrite humble spirit if we were to come to his presence with a humble open spirit he is there to accept us so as we prepare during this time of lent advent let us specially check our minds are we honest in our conscience are we honest in our dealings and responsibilities are we honest in our spiritual exercises let us check our conscience how we are what we are when we stand before jesus he knows through and through our mind with a simple heart let's pray create in me o god a pure spirit pure and right spirit in me the lord may bless us today heavenly father we thank and praise you for all the gifts thank you lord for creating us your beloved sons and daughters help us to be honest in our dealing lord however may be our situation however may be the kind of work we do help us to be honest to you and to our conscience lord you never speak to the dishonest people lord help us to be honest and straight forward in our dealings so that we may become friend of you and you sit with us and you share all of our stories lord come and bless us create in us a pure heart and a steadfast spirit within us we ask this through christ our lord amen